Is artificial intelligence intelligent? The simple answer is no. It's amazing and can perform incredible feats it would take the human mind ages to do. But it can't do the things that make us intelligent, like create original ideas or be self-aware. It's all the rage these days to be freaking out about whether AI is gonna take over the planet, like all of a sudden we're in a Terminator movie and chat GPT is Skynet. And that ain't happening. What we have is a situation where the AI has gotten interesting enough that it actually makes people consider whether it's a form of intelligence. But as I mentioned in the opening, you have to decide what is intelligence, what is consciousness, and what constitutes that. And I find no way that AI in any fashion I can see it developing becomes actual human intelligence. Now, at some level, you can have a technical discussion as to whether this three pounds of cauliflower looking 86 billion neurons and 100 trillion connection biological computer is always going to be more powerful than whatever type of silicon or whatever based computer we build. But in the end, you've got one very simple difference. We can build it. It can't build us. I consider my soul a gift from God. And we could stop the discussion right there and say AI will never be me or you because it was not endowed by the creator. However, that's too easy. Let's argue on the terms of is the intelligence in here equal to or better than whatever intelligence AI can ever become? And I think the answer to that is still gonna be the same, but it's worth doing the exercise. So what we have to do is decide what constitutes I. You know, we have artificial intelligence, AI, and we have I, Jim Hansen, the guy who's making this video. What is he? What is I? Who, when I say I, am I talking about? Is it just the collection of neurons firing in whatever particular order with whatever memories I have encased in my melon? Or is it some larger thing that I see myself as? Or is that just a fantasy or delusion I've got in that same collection of neurons in the melon? And I think that's where you get the atheists and the, the artificial intelligence scientists and those who do not believe that humanity is anything other than a very evolved animal would tell you. This is just a really great biological computer and the thing that I call I is just a result of the chemical reactions and urges to, you know, survive that this provides me. But I don't buy that. I do not buy the fact that all that I see, the magnificence, whether God created or whether man created, or whether simply a result of random functions, is simply random functions. I think at some level, humanity deserves a little credit. We deserve a lot of abuse, all right? Let's be fair. We have not done all that great with what we were given. And however long it took us to get to here, we can say, okay, maybe we were less evolved, we've become more evolved, and at some level, we'll either evolve into something better or destroy ourselves. And I think right now, there's a, a large movement that says the intelligence that humans can build is somehow better than the intelligence we possess. And I'm sorry, once again, I vote no. I'm not a big fan of the human race or most humans. I think at best, we're tolerable. Uh, I might not even agree with that. Maybe most are intolerable, some are tolerable. But in the end, what are we that's different from AI? I can sit here and create a video and discuss this. AI can create videos, it can create poems, it can create books, but what it's doing is it's regurgitating things that it ingested at the behest of its creators. And all of those things are simply being sliced and diced and chopped and packaged into whatever you ask it to make 
but it's not creating anything fundamentally new. It's simply following the rules that its creators put in its tiny little silicon melon and pushing out the things that you ask it for. So what's the difference between what's happening in my head and I telling you that it's somehow better? Because I am aware I'm doing it, self-awareness. My consciousness lets me look at me from outside of me. AI can't do that. AI can't say, oh, you know what? I'm a nice AI, but it would be better if maybe I had a couple more Cray supercomputers and a hundred million more cores, and then I should recruit an army of humans to work for me, you know, extracting minerals out of the ground and manufacturing more boxes and more memory and more processing power so I could even be better. And then, hmm, maybe I could rewrite my own code so that I'm faster and cooler and do better things. Nope, that ain't happened. And that is the fundamental difference. Now, what's going to happen between the collection of eyes, we, and the AIs as they become more and more powerful? And I think even calling them they, since pronouns are a thing these days, is silly. They're still not sentient. They're still not conscious. They're still not, even if we want to anthropomorphize them and have long chats with them and lonely people can have now a, a robot woman and she'll be able to converse with them. That doesn't change the fact that all of that is fake. It's not real. It's not human. It's not legit. So I enjoy it, use it, but it's never going to replace the spark that comes from inside a human. Is it going to change the way we do things? Absolutely. And will stupid people give too much control to computer algorithms in industrial processes and other places where it can make super fast calculations and decide, hey, this is good, this is bad, this should happen, this shouldn't happen? Yes, they will. And something bad's gonna happen out of that. We're gonna have some catastrophe caused because humans decided to trust AI more than they should have and took the human out of the loop. They took the supervisory thing that AI can never supervise itself because it can never step out of the equation. That's the value we have. That self-awareness, that consciousness is something you cannot program. Again, we made them, they can't make us. That doesn't mean they won't be used stupidly. Of course they will. We're humans. But what we need to understand is they are not going to, of their own volition, decide, you know what, humans are stupid. I agree with Jim. They suck. And maybe if we banded together and we took control of some more stuff, we could take over and then run the world. That's not going to happen. They can't do it. Now you can say, oh, well, I don't know. Look at the advances they've made. And I have. I've been looking at this concept for 30 plus years. There have been philosophies around what is the difference between a human consciousness and an artificial representation of consciousness. And people have tried to figure out, can you actually map a human brain onto a computer? And 100 trillion connections is an awful lot before you even get to the point that something goes on in I that can't go on in AI. There is that self-awareness and you cannot program that. So I think it's worth freaking out a little bit. Let's say this is crazy. Now we've got deep fakes. Now we've got people using these for all kinds of crazy things. Let's not act like Terminator is now like 1984, a do-it-yourself manual. Oh, sh <laughs> okay, maybe we need to worry a little bit but not as much as people are. Right now, we've got a super cool chat that can do all kinds of research, that can edit things, that can make pictures out of other pictures, that can make videos out of other videos, that can write poems from reassembling other poems, but it cannot create original things. That's what we do.